Today I share back with another video on easy math. Okay, today is Wednesday, so a video on trigonometry. Okay, in previous video we discussed about some values of trigonometric ratios at some certain angles. Today let's discuss about trigonometric ratios of compound angles, as you can see in front of me. What are compound angles? Compound angles seems to be very compound, right? Okay, compound angles means the sum of two or more angles algebraic sum of two or more angles is called as compound angles and each angle is known as constituent angles okay how can we represent these compound angles let's check an example if there are three angles let us imagine there are three angles a b and c and there are some there are some special angles like a plus or minus b, a plus b plus c, a plus b minus c, etc. Then those angles are called as compound angles. Okay, in this section we will see about formulae of trigonometric ratios of different compound angles in terms of trigonometrical ratios of constituent angles and same will be used to prove various results and identities. Okay, now let's start theorems. Our first theorem is cosine of difference and sum of two angles. Our first theorems are based on cosine of difference and sum of two angles. Just to two, because three or more will be complicated at starting. So, at first let's learn two angles. Okay, now we should prove that cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b and cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b okay you may ask first why can't you mention sum and then you can mention difference why you have mentioned difference first and then sum next okay if we see the proof of this theorem we will understand it these letters are somewhat blurred okay let's understand by this picture okay let there be Two axes x y x dash and y y y dash as you can see in the graph and then let there be a circle with center o means origin and let there be three points p1 p2 p3 on the circle and let angle p1 o x p1 o x be a and angle p3 o x be theta okay why we took P3, okay, you will understand that. Angle P3 O X is B. Then what will be the angle? Let us imagine there is an angle P2 O X, which is A minus B. Okay, now how can we get the formula? Okay, now, according to a theorem of circles. If two parts obtain equal angle with the center, then the length of those parts will be equal. Okay, here if we take angle x, if we take chord P not P3, P0, P3. Okay, let P0 be the point of intersection between ox and circle then what is the angle subtended by the chord p o p2 or p0 p2 what will be that angle okay we we imagine that as a minus b okay then what will be the angle subtended by the chord p2 and p1 by the chord p1 p2 okay it will be it is b means you can imagine that as p0 o p3 p1 minus p0 o p3 means it is a minus b to have equal length so chord p0 p3 is equal to chord p1 p2 okay now how can we derive that from this okay we can take distance formula right okay let's see how to derive this then that implies root cos alpha minus beta minus 1 plus sine alpha minus beta minus 0 whole square. Okay, why cos alpha minus beta minus 1 and sine alpha minus beta minus 0? 
If I see the picture, you will understand that. Okay, in this picture, okay, in this picture, if you observe the coordinates of P2 are cos alpha minus beta and sin alpha minus beta. And the coordinates of P0 are 1 comma 0 because we took an unit circle. What is unit circle? A circle with radius 1. So the coordinates of P0 are 1 comma 0. Okay, so the distance will be root cos alpha minus beta minus 1 plus sin alpha minus sin a minus b minus 0 whole square is equal to root cos b minus cos a. I mean they are coordinates of p1 and p2. X coordinates of p2 and x coordinates of x coordinates of p3 and x coordinate of p1. It is root cos b minus cos a whole square plus sin b minus sin a whole square. Okay, now if you apply square, it becomes cos alpha minus 2 square roots from other, from either sides of the equal, from either side of the is equal to, will get cancelled out. Will get cancelled out. And then we will get cos alpha minus beta minus 1 whole square plus sin square alpha minus beta because there is 0. There is no need to mention 0. Is equal to cos beta minus cos alpha whole square plus sin beta minus, sin b minus sin a whole square. Okay, now, if we apply squaring, it is cos a minus b minus 1, means it is a minus b whole square, a minus b whole square, a square minus 2ab plus b square. You will get cos square a minus b minus 2 cos a minus b plus 1 plus sin square a minus b is equal to, if we, if we apply squares for cos b minus cos a and sin b minus sin a, you will get cos square b plus cos square a minus 2 cos a cos b plus sin square b plus sin square a minus 2 sin a sin b. Okay, how to solve this with this? Okay, now here sin square alpha minus sin square a minus b. Here cos square a minus b means it is in the form of cos square alpha plus sin square alpha which is 1. There is another one here. So, you will get 2 minus this. 2 cos then you will get 2 minus 2 cos a minus b is equal to here cos square b plus sin square b 1 cos square a plus sin square a 1 it will be 2 2 minus 2 cos a cos b minus 2 sin a sin b here 2 2 cancels out and you will get minus cos a minus b and minus 2 cos a cos b minus 2 sin a sin b mean that minuses get cancels out and other two also gets cancelled out. Then you will get cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. Hence, cos a minus b is equal to cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. This is the formula for cos a minus b. Okay? This method of proof can be used anywhere. A is positive or zero or negative or anything. Except complex number because it is very difficult to find for complex numbers. It may be impossible to. Okay. Then how to prove sum of a, a and b? Cos a plus b. How to prove that? Okay. Cos a plus b means it is cos a minus minus b. Minus and minus becomes plus. So it is cos a minus minus b. Means here two angles are a and minus b. So, cos a cos minus b plus sin a sin minus b. Okay, in previous video we discussed about what will happen if we substitute negative angles in trigonometric ratios. We found that cos and cos, cos and secant becomes positive and remaining all will become negative, right? If you apply that, you will get cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. So, cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Okay, if you have not seen my previous video, go check it out and then watch this video again from this point because if we, if you don't see my previous videos, it will be very difficult to solve these problems or these theorems. Okay, now let's see sign of difference and sum of two angles. Now let's discuss sine. 
how to prove sin a minus b and sin a plus b okay as you can see these are the formulas for sin a minus b and sin a plus b see them and now let's prove them how can we prove them okay if i we know cos a plus b and cos a minus b right can we use that cos here okay hoping that you checked my previous video and if you not check it go check it out in this video we also found that sin sin alpha is equal to cos 90 minus alpha or sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta based on that sin a minus b you can write like cos 90 minus a minus b means cos 90 minus k plus b if you multiply with minus so now we got two angles 90 minus a and b if you apply cos a plus b formula you will get cos 90 minus a plus cos b minus sin 90 minus a sin b okay cos 90 minus theta is sin theta so sin a cos b minus sin 90 minus theta is cos theta cos a sin b we proved the first formula and similarly if you substitute minus b in place of plus b and if you use the same sign formula you will get you will get the formula for sin a plus b okay now let's discuss about tangents and cotangent means cot a plus b tan a plus b cot a minus b tan a minus b okay if you want to know formulas for tan a plus b and tan a minus b see them now let's prove them now we have tan a plus b what how can we change the tan a plus b all of you know that tan a plus b is the ratio of sin and cos so you can write like sin a plus b by cos a plus b okay now how can i simplify that substitute the values for sin a plus b and cos a plus b you'll get sin a cos b plus cos a sin b by cos a cos b minus sin a sin b okay now how can we simplify this okay we can divide them by cos a cos b right if we divide them by cos a cos b then we will get sin a cos b by cos a cos b means cos b cos b cancel you will get sin a by cos a means tan a plus similarly here you will get tan b tan a plus tan b by cos a cos b divided with cos a cos b so you'll get 1 minus sin a by cos a tan a sin b by cos b tan b so tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan a tan b similarly if you substitute minus b in place of plus, plus b you'll get the formula for tan a minus b now let's see cot Similarly, cot A plus B will be cot A cot B minus 1 by cot B plus cot A. And similarly, cot A minus B. Okay, if you want, you can prove them. You can prove them. It, it will be like an exercise for you. Okay, now let's see some special formula. There are some special formula. As you can see here, if you want to learn them, pause the video and learn them. And I am not going to show the proofs for them. Take it as an exercise. Okay. First to do, you can substitute values. And third and fourth, you can take third, fourth and fifth. You can take like A plus B, like one angle and C as an angle. You can prove them. Take it also as an homework or exercise. okay now as you can see here we listed all the form all the formulae we learned so far okay pause the video and take a screenshot or learn these all this will be very useful for future formulae or future problems as you can see these are also some trigonometric formulae pause the video and take the screenshot and try to prove them it will be like an exercise, it will increase your logical thinking and so many thinkings. Okay, now let's see some examples on the formula we learned in this video. Okay, these are some difficult examples. If tan b is equal to 2 sin a 
sin c by sin a plus sin c then prove that cot a cot b and cot c are in ap means arithmetic progression we learned that in the we have learned them in the thursday's video every week sequences and series okay now how can we do this now tan b is equal to 2 sin a sin c by sin a plus sin c we should prove that cot a cot b and cot c are in ap so we should take cot so if we cot means it is inverse of tan reciprocal of tan so you can take like cot b is equal to sin a plus c by 2 sin a sin c sin a plus b means sin a cos c plus sin c cos a if you should divide them by 2 sin a sin c as it is in the denominator so you will get sin a and sin a cancels out and sin c and sin c cancels out you will get cot c by 2 plus cot a by 2 means cot b is equal to cot a plus cot c by 2 if we send 2 to the other side it becomes 2 okay cot b is equal to cot a plus cot c by 2 means it is arithmetic mean of cot a and cot c cot b is arithmetic mean of cot a and cot c means those three are in a b this is how to solve this problem Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, ring that bell icon, it not for you when I release a new video. If you have any doubts, comment down below. I will answer them in the next video.